Good morning, this is Jacob Folger, sculptor and artist, and we are going to um, start a new series um, called Doodling in Clay. Okay, put away the paper and pen for a moment, and let's try something new. Okay, and um, before we start any uh, class, I'd like to look at a piece and see what I see inside of it. And uh, what I mean by that is um, most every thing in the world, if you look at it a different way, you can sometimes see other things in it that you might not be able to see otherwise. And what I see here is a pig, okay? I see his snoot right here and his eye right here. And uh, this is nose there and his forehead and his head. It's like a, and his eyeball is right there. So, with that in mind, we're going to make a pig. And I want to just pull that little pig out of there. I don't want to destroy it. I want to hang on to it. So I'm just going to pull that away and save the pig. Okay? <laughs> So we're going to make a pig and I'm going to show you how to do it, all right? Um, I'm going to make a little ball and this is something that you can do at your desk at work during lunch and it's, it will get clay on your hands and maybe clay on your work surface, but it's mostly a clean endeavor. It doesn't make too much of a mess. So the first step is to roll a little ball like this and um, what I do is I try to look at the clay and see if I can see the face that I'm going to make in it. And that's sometimes difficult for a new person, but it seems like the shape, the basic shape is right here. So I'm going to work with that little shape there. And I'm going to just uh, push and pull a nose out of that. See, here comes the nose. And I'm going to push it flat because the pig's nose is flat on the front, mostly flat anyway, it's not completely flat, but mostly flat. I can pull a little bit more to make it a little bit longer. Okay, you can see that, right? And then, uh, so we have the basic shape of the head there. And uh, so now we're going to start the eyes. I'm just forming it. As you see it coming around, you can see how I'm doing this. This does not take long. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that in some cases I can sculpt a face or a pig's head, a pig's face, um, in about the same time it would take somebody else to draw it. So I'm going to take this little tool here, which is a wood tool. I'm putting the, sort, the uh, resources and the things that you need, the tools that you need on the video so you have them. This is just a little wood sculpting tool that I use a lot. And I'm forming the, uh, the eye sockets for the pig's eyes. He's already looking pretty cute. Look at that. Even with just eye sockets. Okay, then I'll take a little bit of clay, a tiny bit, and I'll make the pupils for the eyes. Uh, excuse me, the eyeballs. So I roll a little ball between my fingers, see? And I just put it in the, in the eye socket like that. I've been doing eyes like this for a really long time and people seem to like them. Just want to get a little small ball here. Okay, great. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, make the uh, pupils of the eyes so the eyes look like they have color. And I'll just press in to the clay. I'm actually going to have him looking to the left. Your right, his left, my left. And uh, then I'm going to roll a little noodle here for his eyelid. Oops, that sort of messed up on me. And uh, I just roll a little noodle like that, see? Like that. And I put it on here.
And I'm going to go ahead and get the other one on there and then I'll adjust them and, uh, and sculpt them in. And we'll be doing other uh, little character faces. Mostly just faces for now. Getting people used to uh, doing faces. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, expression and the way um, the eyes look uh, when it's all said and done are based primarily on the eyelids and eyebrows. Okay. There we go. It looks kind of a little funny, a little, uh, um, like they're, like they're a little concerned eyes, maybe. But not too bad. Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, ears. And uh, just stick them on there. This is just a doodle, so it should be fine. And another one for the other side. And I just love to, people wonder why I do these these um, videos. Well, one thing is I really love to share what I do. And it's like my legacy. I don't have any family. So, um, you know, it's just me and my friends right now. And so I figured, well, I'll just tell everyone what I do. And uh, we'll see where it goes. And uh, it is helpful for my business, too, as an artist. This morning I got a contact from a gentleman that is interested in uh, classes. His name is Bill. Thank you, Bill, for the inspiration because you actually inspired me to do this, uh, this little class. I get inspired very easily. And uh, I, I appreciate any inspiration, any energy. So when people comment or like my videos or subscribe to my video uh, channel, um, that inspires me. You never know. I might end up doing a video and saying, hey, well, thank you, uh, Bill, <laughs> or whoever you are, uh, for the inspiration. Okay, so now we're going to do the nose like this. That's how it's done. Just poke a hole and drag it up like that. Add a little bit of depth to it. And then we're going to carve out a little bit of the space underneath for his mouth. And, okay, so we got the little pig head going on here, and I had to change the SD card, or whatever it's called, I'm not even sure. I know enough about technology to make these videos and do stuff like that, but beyond that, I know enough, but that's about it. So now we're going to make a little shape like this, and that'll be his jaw, his mouth, his under jaw. Just blend it in on the bottom. And now we can flesh it out a little bit. Now this this would be fine for you guys, but you might want to do a little bit more. And what you can do is just roll a little noodle here and create a little bit of an upper upper lip there and just blend it in to, the th to his upper uh, nose there and then just carve it in a little bit give him a little bit of a sheepish grin see
There we go. Here's the other one. That just adds a little bit of flavor and uh, depth to his face. And you can sculpt that in and carve it in a little bit. Just get that going a little bit more. And it's getting there. So that's a doodle for sure. There it is. You can just throw a little body on him or whatever. And squeeze out the nose a little bit more here. Just make it a little bit more prominent. And But that's about it for, for this little guy. I'm just going to uh, redefine his nose a little bit. You can scrape the uh, excess clay off of the uh, back of this paintbrush here. There we go. Oops. Okay. So there it is. So um, I would like to see if you guys could, uh, out there, could uh, um, put away your paper and pencils and paper and pens and uh, try doodling clay instead during your lunch hour when you have time. The clay washes off your hands really fast and really easily. It's no big deal. And um, you just need a few tools and I'll put them on here. And then when you're all done, you can take your paintbrush with a little bit of water on it and just, um, just smooth it out. If you keep that water as much as you can away from the eyes because that will, get, that will ruin the eyes really easily if you're, if you're not careful. And that's it. Very simple. So I'm Jacob Folger. Please subscribe to my channel. That lets me know that you all are interested and want to keep going with this uh, series of classes. And um, please visit my website at jacobfolger.com. I do a whole lot more than just sculpting. You'll see when you get there. I do some really fun uh, and very cool um, images and art photography and digital art. And um, it's really, I got, I'm a very involved artist and I love my art. Contact me if you like classes or just want to talk. Send me your energy and I'll send you my energy back. I think you'll be uh, pleased. Most people are when they contact me. Thank you so much and have a great day.